Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to take information from Excel and then copy and paste it into a Word document. In the first part of the lesson what I want to do is I'm going to use copy and paste. I'm helping a client to determine what amount they can afford to pay. I've used Excel's Scenario Manager with three different scenarios. The Scenario Manager is found on the Data tab of the ribbon in Data Tools What If Analysis Scenario Manager. So I have created three different scenarios and when I click Summary I get a nice neat scenario summary. This is what I want to copy from Excel and paste into a Word document. So I highlight the part of the report that I wish to copy, Control C to copy. It's now on the clipboard. Next, I switch over to Word. This is the place in the Word document where I want to paste the scenario summary. So I go up to the Home tab of the ribbon in Word. In the clipboard group, notice that I have Paste paste special and paste as a hyperlink. So let's take the default. Let's just paste the same as doing control V. So there is the scenario summary from Excel. It's pasted as a table. How can I tell that it's a table? You see this icon up here in the upper left corner. That's the indication that it's a table. Notice this other icon in the lower right corner, the paste options. So the default setting is to keep the source formatting. The source, of course, is Excel. I could match to a destination table style. So remember, by default, we paste from Excel into Word word as a table. So now we're matching the default style of the Word document. Let's come back here to Paste Options. Notice that I can also paste it as a picture. And increasingly I choose this as my preferred option. Here are two advantages when I paste as a picture. So I've highlighted the picture. Uh, number one, I can easily resize it. And as a picture, when I come up to the picture tools, I can choose a different type of background. So I could put a frame around it, and the frames range in size and style. So I can apply a nice, neat, professional look to my Excel Scenario Manager. Now, it's easy to delete a picture. All you have to do is just highlight it and click Delete. If I come back here and I paste it, this time as a table, watch what happens. If I click inside the table and click Delete, well, nothing happens. Click into Cell and Delete, nothing happens. So when I want to delete the table, make sure that you select the table and then still don't hit Delete. What you need to do, I'll bring that back with Control z is we select the table, then go up to Table Tools, Layout. Over here in Rows and Columns, we want to delete the table. All right, now let me use another Excel spreadsheet. So let's come back here into Excel. Let's take this off the clipboard with the Escape key, and let's take a look at a sales report. Let's select the sales report. Notice before I copy it, that I put a fair amount of time into applying specific formats. Now let's copy it. Let's return to Word, this time to a different document. My cursor is placed where I wish to paste. This time I'm going to use Paste Special and I'm going to paste the link. So in Word on the Home tab of the ribbon, come over in the clipboard group. This time I'm going to say Paste Special. And I'm going to paste it as a link. Now notice that when I use Paste Special that I have different types of pictures. I can paste it as a Windows Meta file, as a bitmap file, as a Word hyperlink, as an HTML, or I could also use some other options here. So here I'm going to choose to paste it with a link as a Windows Meta file. Click OK. Now again, remember as a picture I can resize it and move it to the position in the document that I wish. All right, I have this just about to the right dimension. Now, let's demonstrate how the link between Excel and Word works. So I chose paste the link. Now notice $215 are the sales in thousands for hardware North Division. When I come back to Excel and I come over to that cell and change it to $500, 
now return to the Word document, you see that that's updated. Now, here's a word of caution. When you use links, they are fragile. So what I did is I kept the Excel document and the Word document in the same directory. It makes it much easier to preserve that link. So you see how easy it is to share information between Excel and Word. They're tightly integrated. And you see that I also have the 50 best tips for Word in addition to the 50 best tips for Excel 2007. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.